I need some bug spray. <laughs> so now that the bug spray is on, you can see that Mr. Jonathan Asaro is attempting to make the beginnings of a snare. Snare consists of a couple pieces. This is the Y branch. Um, pretty much it consists of one branch on this side, you're going to put it in the ground. One branch here with your trigger stick notched into another stick right here. So we'll show you once I get more of the sticks made. But right now, this is the Y branch that's going to hold the stick with the slip knot right here. So basically what's going to happen is the animal is going to push on the trigger stick because you're going to bait it with food, peanut butter, or whatever. And it pushes down and it slips out of here and it flings up on the sapling. So I'm going to go ahead and start making some more of the components <coughs> and I'll get back to you. And what are we trying to catch? I don't know. Whatever. There's not a lot of wildlife out here. Uh, last night we saw an armadillo. So... It'd be kind of interesting if we got an armadillo. I wouldn't eat it or anything, but um, we have seen there's been like rabbits and raccoons and all that kind of stuff out here. But we don't really see them too often. But we're just gonna set it up just for the fun of it and see what happens. All right. So what I've done here is chosen a green sapling that has some elasticity to it. You never want to use dead branches because dead branches will just snap on you. But pretty much I went a good ways up the tree, like two thirds up the way, and just tied a regular. Uh, it's like a um, so I tied a Siberian hitch, it's a quick release knot, but it holds really tight. And the snare is all about tension, so I made just a regular, this is your trigger stick here. It's just a regular stick, but with a notch cut in the end here. And if you follow me down this way, those two sticks that I was working on earlier, this is your Y stick. So what I did was, it's just basically a fork and a branch. And you just bury that in the dirt, I'm gonna go make a fresh hole here, keep it nice and tight. So you want to get your trigger stick underneath here, and then I made this other stick, which is the, I don't know what it's called, but this part, the notch that you made here, locks into there. So I'm going to show you what you want to do to set your trigger snare is put this end, you want to tie the rope to one end of the stick, and you slide that end underneath the Y branch, and then this end with the notch cut in it, you want to place on this side of it just so you want to make sure you get it nice and firmly in the ground so the tree doesn't pull the sticks out of the ground so then what you'll see here is the notches line up perfectly here and you want to make them kind of sensitive this one feels kind of tight and then what I did was you tie a regular knot onto the stick and then with the slack you want to leave an extra like one or two feet and a lot of people do this with wire um, this is just for demonstration purposes because this is actually what's going to catch the animal's head and if, or arm or some kind of limb. So if the animal gets caught and they can chew their way out of this rope, that's why you want to use wire, theoretically. But just for demonstration purposes, you tie just a regular slip knot and you make sure you open it up enough. And then you want to drape it over your trigger stick here. So what you want to do is you want to find some kind of bait. Peanut butter works the best. Anything sticky to get on the branch so the animal actually starts gnawing on the trigger stick coming to gnaw on the peanut butter and munch 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 on the trigger stick oh no my hands caught and with the weight of the animal pushing down the slip knot tightens and tightens and doesn't come loose so basically you have yourself an animal trapped in the snare so that's just a basic trigger snare if you guys have any questions comments how to make a slip knot we'll probably do a video on how to make a slip knot it's actually really easy um, but yeah this is my very first snare I've ever set so hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys learned something so what happened here, John? Uh, the snare that we set up last night got tripped. You can see, judging by this, the loop here, the slip knot, it definitely got around something's either neck or limb, and it either struggled and got away, or it wrapped around it and it just happened to break free, because the loop used to be this big when you set it up. So judging by the fact that it's, it was hanging on the tree about that big this morning leads me to believe that something came through and tripped it. And you can also see it evidence down here um, it didn't like the peppers that we put out but whatever it was came through we had some bread dog food and some raw chicken on the trigger stick so that's all gone now so whatever it was made a uh, harrowing escape and um, we don't know what it was what it could have been how big it was but um, this just kind of emphasizes the importance of using snare wire because mm -hmm. if it was snare wire it would have cinched up really tight and probably wouldn't have let it go and broke a limb or something but this is just really cheap nylon cord. 
but as you can see, it would work. Um, typically, when you do snares, you want to set up like a bunch of them around the perimeter of your camp or even off in the woods. You want to do more than one because it's a numbers game. Um, but yep, that is the primitive snare. And this is a plane flying overhead making a really loud noise. Good plane. Good plane.